Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to solve one of the complex challenges asked in interview recently. That is showing highlighted filters. Like say, if you see, you know, I want to display what are the filters selected in my view. Like say for category, as of now, I have not selected anything. So that is why, I mean, I have selected everything. So it is showing me all. But when I select anything like say furniture i'm selecting it is showing me furniture and what are the subcategories in that okay so i can uncheck and this will get updated so if i don't need that i can hide it or show them okay so let us see how we can get do this and let us get started if you're new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so for this what we need to do first is we need to find out the total count of each product or the dimension field that you're taking so that we can display all all values right so in my view what i'm doing is i'm trying to create a simple view using category or anything that you want the dimensional field you can take okay i'm taking category wise subcategory and i'm also taking my sales okay so likewise you can build your view now i want to find out what is my total count of categories here right so i am doing that and I'm writing here as a category uh, count. And I'm simply doing a count D of my category symbol. Okay. And I'm closing it. Click on apply and okay. So we got the total count for our categories, right? So here I'm also adding my filters into the view. So I'm just adding this show filter and also this one. Okay. Now my intention is whatever I select here should be displayed in a separate list. Okay. I'll make uh, my subcategory as only relevant values. Okay. So uh, I'm calling this as category wise sales. Okay, and I'm going to another sheet here and okay, and I am going to apply these filters to the other sheet that we have, sorry. Same for this. Okay, now I have here now what i'm doing is if i if we take this we got three right because we have three subcategory items i'm going to create uh, a parameter on this count click on this okay create a parameter so this is just for count of values okay so this is that's why it is already as integer but i want this values to get updated whenever my workbook is getting updated so i'm just choosing this and i'm choosing this category count okay click ok and done now using this parameter count as a static thing or a, a count thing we are going to display what we need in the worksheet so for this i'm writing okay a calculation here category filters selected okay if uh, i'm just writing a fixed already if my fixed of count of my category is equal to uh, our parameter here, category parameter, okay? Then what, then I should display as all because we'll get the maximum count when it is counting the entire thing. Otherwise, we should display our category, simple. Okay, so this is the only calculation that you need to understand. If you get, if you understand how this is working, I think you should, you can easily implement what we need. Now you see it has created a dimension field. I am just dropping it into the view. Now it is showing us all. So I'm just adding this to context here. Okay, and we will take uh, where is our category filter here. I'm just adding it into the view now. Okay, so but for us, all is not working when the count is matching. It should display us as, as all. 
and it should not be displaying this. Okay, let us see uh, the calculation that we have written here. Count distinct here. Okay. Yeah. Now see here, when I selected all of the values from the category filter, it is displaying me all the values. But when I select only few, it is displaying me that list, right? Now same thing I'm trying to repeat for my subcategory as well. And I'm doing that in my another sheet category filter I'm writing. And here I'm writing as subcategory filter. Okay, same or you can also duplicate this. Let us duplicate this to make it easier. I'm just deleting this and I'll just write it as subcat filter. So all you need to do is duplicate your calculations, the count and the dimensional calculation that we have created. So where did it go? So one is. Uh, Okay, so one is category count. So I'm just duplicating that. Okay, and I'm just editing my calculation and I'm writing it as a subcategory count. So here, instead of this, we are category, we are going to take subcategory, right? Second step, create a parameter on top of this, just so that we can pass this values. I'm going to create parameter and then when workbook opens here you need to select subcategory earlier we were creating for category right now we are creating for subcategory so i'm taking subcategory click ok done so now next thing is we need to update uh, our category calculation dimension calculation i'm just duplicating that as well same thing just edit it Instead of category filters, just write subcategory filters selected and I'm removing this. So here instead of category, you need to write subcategory. Everything will remain same. And here instead of this parameter, you need to write subcategory parameter that we have created. Okay, subcategory count parameter. So that is what we have created, right? Let me edit it. Subcategory, subcategory parameter. That's it. So I'm going to take this. Okay, I'm going to take this. Okay. Now let let us update this. I want subcategory parameter. Category parameter. Now when this is matching, it is all. Otherwise, it will be subcategory. Simple. Okay, I hope you understood this logic. This is where the entire thing depends on how you want to derive done. So instead of category, just replace it with subcategory. Okay, I think we didn't. Uh, yeah, so here it should be subcategory. Okay, I'm going to remove. Okay. And then let us drop it into the view. Okay, because category, all of the categories selected, it is showing all, right? So see, all of the subcategories are selected. But when I select only few, you see, we are getting that list done. So our two things are ready now. Now let us go to the dashboard and let us add this. So I'm just adding my category wise sales here. And uh, I'm adding my uh, filters as well. So I'm just trying to create, take one container and maybe uh, add it on to the top here. And I'll move this into that, this as well. Okay. And then I want this to be a multi drop down. This as well. Where did it go? Okay, and I'll, I'm just going to adjust it. Okay, now let us add other sheets that we have created. And for that, what I'm doing is maybe I'll add uh, another here. Okay, I'll just bring this into this. 
okay and i'm going to add another horizontal container inside this and i'm going to add two sheets that we have created for category and subcategory filter so i'm going to take this drop it inside this same done so let us hide the titles and now what i'm doing is i'm trying to use a show and hide button here so click on this you can click on add show or hide button and i'm going to use a text field here i'm choosing text so i want uh, close here when item shown when item is hidden i want to show uh, selected filters show selected filters simple okay click apply okay now i'm just going to take this and drop it into this one okay so maybe just i'll rearrange it here now uh, just select the container and uh, make it uh, distribute evenly now currently it is closed right so we want to display or maybe i've written it uh, so it should be a reverse here item okay so i'll write it here as close no, i think so okay so now when i i'm not selecting i'm selecting only furniture our view is working i'm selecting something from this i we have the values done but if i want to see what all i have selected or what all users has selected you can simply click on this it will give you the list so this way you can solve and use it for your multiple dimensions or multiple filters and that's it from my side in this video i hope you have liked this video and you have learned something new if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe and do not forget to comment it or share it so that it can read all those needed see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day